everyone! Hello! Today we're learning about crustaceans! Now, crustaceans are from the family of arthropods. Arthropods are invertebrates, and that would mean they do not have a backbone. There are other animals that are arthropods, such as insects, good, spiders, and of course, crustaceans. But not all crustaceans live on water. Some of them live on land. Like for example, pill bugs and sow bugs. That's right. Crustaceans are known as decapods, and the word deca means ten. That means crustaceans have five pairs of joined legs, but the front two legs are known as pincers, or you can also call them claws. And what do you think crustaceans use their claws for? They use them for gripping food. That's right. All right, let's set up our last packing and let's go. Son of the ocean, it's so relaxing. The waves crashing into the shore. Hey mom, what are those weird looking baskets? Those are not baskets, those are traps. That's how fishermen get crustaceans, lobsters and crabs, which later are gonna be sold to other restaurants around the area. Oh, look mom, I found the crab. It's so tiny! I love the color of its legs! It's orange! By taking a closer look at the body of a lobster, we will notice it has three body parts. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. You can also see that they have two antennae and a mouth. The mouth of crustaceans have mandibles and maxillae. The exoskeleton of crustaceans protects them from water loss and predators. But I wonder, how does a crustacean grow with such a hard exoskeleton? Well, crustaceans molt, just like other animals. During the process of molting, a thinner layer of the exoskeleton is formed underneath the old one. But it is during molting time that crustaceans are very vulnerable. You see this hermit crab? Hermit crabs are unique. They do not molt. Instead, they find a bigger shell as their home. Are you ready for your scuba diving adventure? Oh yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. Ready, set, go. Diving underwater is such a thrill. I can see the bottom of the ocean. There, I see a lobster. Even though animals in the crustacean family have similar characteristics, there are some differences. For example, lobsters and crayfish look alike. However, lobsters live in salt water and are carnivores and scavengers. Do you know what a scavenger is? Well, scavengers are animals that feed on dead animals. Crayfish live in fresh water, like ponds or rivers, and are omnivores. Do you know what an omnivore eats? Well, an omnivore eats both plants and other animals. Boy, I hope Daniel's having a great time scuba diving. Now let's talk a little bit about female and male lobsters. A male lobster has a large pair of swimmerets. These swimmerets play an important role in reproduction for both male and female. The male lobster uses their swimmerets to hold the sperm, while the female uses them to keep the fertilized eggs until they're ready to hatch. Once the eggs are ready to hatch, the larva free floats in the ocean. Only a few will make it to adulthood. After a month or so, they will sink to the bottom of the ocean floor and then will hide away until they will molt several times and grow into juvenile crustaceans. Look at this lobster. The black dots on the picture are eggs. 
Female lobsters are known as hens, while male lobsters are known as cocks. The female lobsters have wider tail, just like the one in the picture. Male lobsters have narrow tails. That's how you can tell them apart. But what about crabs? Well, crabs have an underside that is known as apron. The male crabs are called genies, and they have a claw that is a little bit bigger than the other one. Male crabs also have an underside that have a triangular shape. Female crabs are known as salis. They have a broader underside. Do you know why? Hmm, that's simple. That's where they keep their eggs. Crabs go through a lot of changes in their lives, you know. They start off as little tiny eggs that grow into a zoaya. But as the crab keeps growing and growing and molting and molting, it turns into a megapola. Then, a juvenile. Yeah, that's my favorite phase now that I think about it. Because during this phase, the crabs look like teeny tiny versions of themselves. So cute. The last and final stage is adulthood. Now let's talk about some amazing crustaceans that don't live on water. They're not aquatic. Hey, I know you have seen them in your garden and sometimes inside your home. They're called roly polies. Most kids call them roly polies. Now, I like to call them pill bugs because they look like little pills. But these are amazing crustaceans not only because they live on land, but because they have a carapace that looks like an armor. And their bodies are divided into three parts. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They are great decomposers, and they feed on dead plants and animals cats. As a result, they return important nutrients to the soil. So guess what? These little tiny crustaceans are very important for the ecosystem. So next time you see them in the garden, make sure to just observe them and not pick them up. Otherwise, they will roll into little balls. All right, let's go pick up Daniel from his scuba diving adventure. Oh, Mom, I had such a great time. I picked up a lobster and he thought he was going to bite me. I found Looks like Daniel had a great time scuba diving. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you visit that link down below to get more resources and more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a great learning day.